Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I'm Michael Neal, and I'd like to welcome you to the very first edition of Caffeine for the Soul. Now, I thought a good place to start was by talking a little bit about what Caffeine for the Soul is, where the idea came from, and and what to kind of look forward to expect over the next few weeks, months, years, I don't know. So the first time I, I really wrote about Caffeine for the Soul was in my very first book, You Can Have What You Want. And, and I was, it was in a section on inspiration, and I, I began by sharing the dictionary definition of inspiration. So inspiration is a noun. It first appeared in print in English in the 14th century. And the first definition is literal. It's the act of inspiring or breathing in, like, I'm inspired. Now, the second definition is the act or power of exercising an elevating or stimulating influence upon the intellect or emotions, the result of such influence that quickens or stimulates. So we begin to see the caffeine. And then the third definition of inspiration is a supernatural influence that qualifies men to receive and communicate divine truth, also the truth communicated, which sounds an awful lot to me like the soul. So here's, here's what I wrote. Thomas Edison was once asked the secret of his prolific creativity, to which he responded, invention is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. While I've certainly experienced the need in my own life to put in the hours in order to succeed, I think Edison's equation is misleading. It seems to imply that inspiration is relatively unimportant, when in fact, if what you want is a wonderful life, I'm not sure that anything is more important. By way of example, I remember going to my local hardware store to get some burnt orange paint. The man behind the counter took a large tub of pure white paint added a few drops of yellow dye and a few drops of red, and after a few minutes of mixing, I had a whole can of burnt orange paint. Here's the point. Less than 1% of the content of the can was the source of 100% of the color. In my experience, moving forward when you're inspired is like climbing into a canoe and going for a ride down a river. Trying to move forward when you're out of touch with your inspiration is like carrying the canoe up a dry riverbed. So while inspiration without perspiration may be impotent, perspiration without inspiration just plain stinks. My own definition of inspiration is a bit more prosaic, but hopefully a bit more practical. Inspiration is caffeine for the soul. So I hope you will enjoy joining me each day, Monday to Friday, for these little missives, these little uh, thoughts from the deeper mind. And uh, whether, whether they're espresso-sized or cappuccino-sized or grande, venti, flat white, uh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting to get that analogy, and I thought I'd get it over with now, and then I, we never have to go back there. Let's, let's never speak of this again. But whatever the size, I'm going to try and keep these between 5 and 10 minutes long every day, and I'm going to establish a theme on a Monday, and then we're going to build on that theme throughout the week. So you can jump in anytime, anywhere, Anytime you need a little dose of inspiration, a little caffeine for the soul. Have fun, learn heaps, happy exploring, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.